Over the years, Sylvester Stallone has called some stunning properties home. He had lived in a massive 20,000 square foot mansion in the heart of Beverly Hills for two decades, but then decided to trade it in recently for a new place in Hidden Hills, California. Along the way, the actor also picked himself up a 1.5 acre vacation home in Palm Beach, Florida. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sylvester Stallone is an American legend. This actor, screenwriter, producer and director has literally done it all in Hollywood. In fact, as of this writing, his films have generated over $4 billion in global revenue. And while not all of that money has wound up in Sly's pocket, a large amount of it has, with most estimates suggesting his overall worth to be somewhere in the $400 million range. Not bad for a man who was born with the left side of his face paralyzed due to a birth complication, something that would later lead to his now iconic snarl and trademark slurred speech. But it was Stallone's talent as a writer that really set him apart. He wrote the script to Rocky in just three days before then agreeing to take a massive pay cut so that he could star in the film as well. When he went on to get nominated at the Academy Awards for Best Screenplay and Actor, Sly's position in Hollywood was secured. All he needed to do next was find a place to live. He'd do so after discovering a 20,000 square foot home located in the heart of Beverly Hills, which he would remain at for about 20 years until moving on to Hidden Hills. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Sylvester Stallone calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Mr. Stallone's longtime primary home is located in North Beverly Park, one of LA's most exclusive star studded zip codes, home to celebrities like Denzel Washington, Magic Johnson, Rod Stewart, and many more. And while most of the homes located in this part of the city are humongous to say the least, the majority of them don't tend to have much in the way of views. Sly's place, though, his home is special because it offers up some stunning city and canyon views to go along with what's already a luxurious place to live. Sly bought this home in 1998 with his wife Jennifer Flavin for a reported $23.5 million. That's an incredible amount of money, especially for back in the 90s. But they sure did get themselves a paradise in the process. Tucked away behind a large pair of gates at the end of a cul-de-sac, this secluded estate is centered around a six bed and 10 bath main house that spans about 21,000 square feet of space. And just to make sure you've got a real sense of just how huge this place is, the architects that designed an epic two-story foyer to greet you as soon as you step foot inside. A short walk from there are the formal living and dining areas where Sly has no doubt thrown some get-togethers over the years. You also need the perfect kitchen to go along with a mansion like this, and his boasted two prep islands, not to mention the best high-end appliances. There's also a classy looking family room with floor to ceiling windows that flood the place with lights. Now among the home's most notable features is, of course, the gym. What would you expect Rocky's personal gym to look like? I bet this is exactly it. Stallone's gym has everything, including every piece of equipment you could conceivably want to use. The only thing it's missing is a boxing ring. Beyond that, there are even more amenities in this mansion that include a home theater, cigar room, games room, and even a custom bar. But if all you're really here for is the movie memorabilia, then you'll probably just want to stick to spending time in Sly's office, where he displays his statues, trophies, action figures, and so much more from his action franchises like Rocky and Rambo. Speaking of Rocky, another highlight is most definitely the home's jaw-dropping infinity pool and spa combo, which also comes with its very own statue of Mr. Balboa himself. After moving in, Stallone oversaw plenty of renovations, transforming the entire Mediterranean style home into a one with more contemporary look and feel. He touched up the living spaces with steel framed windows and doors, added some French doors, and also extended his eight car garage to include an art studio for the numerous paintings he's made himself over the years, some of which hang up on the walls around the home. Last but not least, Stallone also hired architect Richard Landry to build a self contained guest house that's probably nicer and bigger bigger than most of our actual homes. Having spent the better part of two decades living here, in January 2021, Sly would list the home for a staggering 
$130 million. Pulse would stay on the market for a year, occasionally getting its price chopped every few months. Eventually, Adele agreed to buy his former estate for a reported $58 million. In December 2020, about a full month before deciding to list his LA mansion, Sly and his wife also secured themselves a vacation pad in Palm Beach, Florida. Here, they can enjoy a sun-soaked, tax-friendly sort of lifestyle, and they dropped a little over $35 million on a practically brand new waterfront estate. This gated Bermuda style compound was first built six years earlier in 2014, and its 13,200 square feet of space is sprawled across about 1.5 acres of landscaped beauty with an amazing cross hatch patterned motor court lined with tropical plants. In addition to the seven bed, 12 bath primary property, the home also includes not one but two guest houses. In addition to the seven bed, 12 bath primary property, the home also includes not one but two guest houses. Houses. One of these is a standalone waterside pavilion that boasts cathedral like ceilings. The other is more of an open air cabana that faces a keyhole shaped swimming pool surrounded by manicured lawns. But let's look at the main house. The inside of Stallone's new vacation pad includes a mammoth living room with expanses of floor to ceiling windows, not to mention some wood cladding on the ceiling. Then there's a sophisticated formal area with enough room to seat 14, as well as a sleek kitchen with designer appliances and wood cabinets. In fact, this kitchen is so big that there's enough room to float a table in the center for a more casual dining experience, you know, if you're not eating in the dining room. Then there's a living room with gorgeous wood finishing on the walls. Moving upstairs, the spacious master suite offers water views while also incorporating a bedroom sized walk in closet and dressing room. There's even an ensuite that showcases tall walls of windows that surround a soaking tub, as well as a glass enclosed shower. And while the fitness room might not look like much right now, especially in comparison to Sly's old one, I'm sure he's been hard at work updating the space to suit his needs. But no matter what way you cut it, $35 million is a lot of money to spend on one home. That must have been why Sly was looking to offload his former mansion in the first place. With some millions left over, next, Sly went house hunting in LA. Well, he'd find his new California place in the neighborhood known as Hidden Hills, an area of the city probably best known for being the home base of nearly every single member of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. This home might be far smaller than his previous LA mansion, but it's not like this place is anything to shrug about either. Built in 2015, Stallone got himself something of a deal for this property as the owner was originally listing the home for around $22 million, but records suggest that Sly got her come down on that price a little bit, ultimately paying around $18.2 million. Set at the very end of a discreet cul-de-sac, Sly's new estate spans more than two acres of land with a mansion-sized main house, guest house, pool house, and a separate horse barn. In fact, altogether, the various structures on the property amount to more than 10,000 square feet of living space, and the fully landscaped grounds also include a greenhouse, vegetable garden, a hundred citrus and avocado trees, as well as a koi pond and a horse arena. Securely located behind gates protected by a high-tech security system, the home's long driveway winds up to the main house, which is surrounded on all sides by English countryside gardens. Inside, a central great room boasts walls made entirely of glass as well as a few skylights, all of which combine to provide the home's interior with an ample amount of natural light. Meanwhile, the dark brown hardwood floors contrast nicely against an all-white color scheme. In the kitchen, the actor can enjoy sub-zero high-end appliances and a more all-white everything color scheme. Then there's the media room, which has more than enough comfy seating for half a dozen guests. Upstairs is the primary bedroom, which has a bit of a romantic feel and will most likely get an overhaul by Stallone since it doesn't seem like his particular style. Attached though is the master bath that offers up a soaking tub, dual vanities, steam shower, and even a sitting area, while the dual master closets are simply massive. Other indoor amenities are said to include a mirror wall gym, a massage facility, and even a wine cellar with tasting room. 
Out back are a few different terraces, some of which are shaded and covered in vines as well as grassy lawns leading to the swimming pool with spa and Baja deck. Well that's going to wrap up our Sylvester Stallone house tour. After looking at three of his mansions, what did you think? Be sure to let me know which of these homes was your favorite and which you think suits the man we know as Rocky better than the rest. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!